Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lana and I'm sharing all about my life in my new home in Vancouver on this channel and about any other things that I'm into such as spirituality and wellness, psychedelics, all that stuff. So if you're into that, make sure that you subscribe below and come say hi. I would love to meet you in the comments. So today's vlog is going to be another week in my life. This week, I'm actually flying back home to Toronto on Thursday and I'm preparing for an ayahuasca ceremony. So this is going to be a week in my life. I'm preparing the body for ceremony. So let's get into it. So it's getting kind of late into the afternoon. I'm just <laughs> feeling a mango here. I think they have to be one of my favorite foods. Mm. So I have quite a few foods in the apartment that I need to eat, which you're not supposed to have before a ceremony. So avocado, mango, pineapple, bananas. So I'm about a week out from ceremony. As I get closer and closer, I get more and more strict. strict but any of the like processed foods, coffee, things like that, I don't have anyways anymore. I transitioned from coffee to cacao. The most important part about preparing your body for an ayahuasca ceremony is to try to have the least uh, stimulating types of foods for your system so that you can go in feeling grounded. Good morning, friends. So it's Sunday morning and I am, <laughs> looking a little bit rough today because stayed up a little bit late we had so much fun on the beach last night watching the sunset and listening to music and just making new friends it was such a great night and then i invited everyone back to my place after and we just kind of hung out and just danced and it was so great i haven't had a weekend like that in so long so as you can see i'm just like vibing from that still. I am just about to have an acai bowl and I did just make some absolutely incredible hemp seed milk. I go through like almond, coconut, nut milks so fast. I started making my own hemp milk. I'm gonna link the recipe below. It's so good. It's a maple cinnamon hemp milk and I'm going to use it for my bowl. So let me show you what I'm doing for my meal today. Okay, so this is the hemp seed mill. I'm so stoked on this. And then for the smoothie bowl, I have frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, frozen blueberries, the nut seed milk. I'm also going to add some barley grass juice powder and some spirulina to this. had the smoothie bowl it was amazing it's just a sunday of like kind of getting ready for the work week so just making a grocery list of stuff that i want to buy i pretty much eat vegan um so no dairy or meat um sometimes i will have some meat if i want but i don't think i will lots of veggies and then closer to there's things like mango pineapple banana avocado and tomatoes which are really hard to avoid. So I usually start cutting those out three to five days before ceremony, just because I don't believe that they are foods that are like stimulating and unhealthy for you in that way. It's more that they really don't mix well with the medicine, whereas things like meat um, and dairy actually can affect your digestive system and the way that your energy feels. So. That's kind of what I do. So I did get a watermelon, some of these gluten-free Mary's organic crackers. They're so good. Peanut butter, some spring mix greens, cilantro, peppers, acai, olives. I got this Spreadem Kitchen Co. Culture Tzatziki Cashew Dip. The very good butchers, plant-based butchery ground. This is really, really good. Peppermint and Moroccan mint tea. Some beautiful local organic shiitake mushrooms. 
For purple cauliflower, I have never tried this before, but I'm gonna roast it up and put it in a bowl with that spread. Last but not least, I got this body lotion because I am peeling like a reptile right now, so I need to stay moisturized. Wow, it's sunny. Good morning, guys. It is about 8 a.m. on Monday morning, and I am doing some ice rolling. I'm gonna go do a quick little beach walk this morning. It's just Monday, Monday vibes. In terms of preparing for ceremony, I am going to start eating very lightly starting today. I'm still reading Marianne Williamson's A Return to Love and it's honestly like cracking me open to like whole new depths and I just know that like the ceremony coming up is gonna be very powerful because there's a lot of anger and guilt that's coming up for me that needs to be released that I maybe thought already was released, but it's not, it's just, it's sitting there inside of me. So I'm just ready to be free from it. So anyhow, let's go to the beach. These water shoes are extremely acceptable footwear to wear in Vancouver. And um, I don't know if I could say the same about Toronto. <laughs> they are very fashion. <laughs> Watermelon. I'm taking a tip from Zoe and just eating it straight out of the out of the watermelon. So this is gonna be breakfast, so I like to th keep my diet light before an ayahuasca ceremony because then the energy body is light and you're not weighed down in ceremony by food, which is nice. So I'm gonna enjoy this, and I'm also enjoying some Spanish beach music because that's the vibe this summer. <sighs> this is the reality of um, an upcoming ayahuasca ceremony. So today has just been like so weird. Um, all of these like emotions have been volcanoing and surfacing and I've just like been crying all day and yeah, I'm just getting all these like feelings come up from about someone from my past and it's just like feeling a little bit, it's a little bit like, fuck, when is this just gonna be healed? Um, so I know this is happening for a reason, like before a ceremony. Um, <laughs> I'm just showing YouTube that I was crying, but. Yeah, man, that's just the reality of going into ceremony. This is the pre-work. Good morning. So it's 9.30 <laughs> on Tuesday. I have four more days until my ceremony and I'm just having a smoothie bowl. So I didn't check in yesterday after my dinner or during my dinner because I was on the phone with Zoe talking about 
all this shit that's been coming up for me yesterday. Like honestly, yesterday was a day I have not experienced in a long time. There was just all this old stuff coming up that I just thought I was completely over, which kind of happens often during a ceremony because as you're trying to like set a powerful intention for healing, whatever is unresolved tends to surface. And there's something that I've been working on healing for like the past two or three years. And man, healing is a marathon, not a sprint. Like you think you got something, you think you're through something, you think you're over something. And then bam, it just comes out out of nowhere. And you're like, fuck. I still have more work to do. So essentially what's happening is I'm creating more space. I'm creating more space to allow the version of myself in, to allow the life that I want into my, into my consciousness, into my awareness. And Anything that's still deep down there that needs to be cleared in order to make space for that is going to come up right now. And that's what's happening. So I know that I'm aware of that, but I'm also kind of annoyed that it's never ending. But anyhow, that's where I'm at. That's what this path is all about. And I'm not going to not be on this path ever so you know i'm here for it anyways i'll check in with my lunch later hello so it's midday i'm making a veggie and mung bean curry so i put red pepper broccoli shiitake mushrooms a small onion because you're supposed to reduce your onion intake and red and yellow peppers. I put a bunch of spices in here, but tried to stick to the more mild ones. I think too, too, too intense, um, but it's still delicious. And coconut milk. I'm just about to record an episode for Modern Psychedelics and we're actually recording the last episode of season one and I thought I would share it with you in this vlog since this is an ayahuasca preparation vlog and the podcast is Modern Psychedelics. Um, we're recording an episode that's basically like a little closing ceremony of season one. I'm going to link that down below for you to listen to. And if you haven't checked out Modern Psychedelics yet, we did a bunch of episodes on ayahuasca and our experiences and interviews and stuff. So make sure that you check that out. After a ceremony, you have to take time to integrate. And I just love that we're being so intentional with Modern Psychedelics and we're taking a breather we're taking a beat to really let all of these conversations really sink in deeply i'm having a very late dinner um so this is just some greens the cashew tzatziki rice peppers and onions and olives good morning guys it's wednesday it's wednesday so two more days until ceremony I got a bunch of questions from you guys um, through my personal account and Modern Psychedelics about preparing for ayahuasca. So I'm going to sit down and do a little Q&A today when I'm finished work and answer all your questions and I'm so excited and they were really, really good questions. Another thing I like to do when I'm preparing for a ceremony is I like to really like hammer out as much work as possible the week before so that I'm not worrying about it in ceremony. There's been so many times where I've just been like in ceremony the Friday night and I'm still in work and I'm worrying about work and I literally just have like all of these thoughts about work consuming me. So in order to 
try to minimize that. Yeah, I like to just like try to have as much stuff done as possible so that I can kind of clear work from my awareness. So yesterday I had a really long day. I was working till like 9.30 actually last night. And yeah, I mean, it's just something that I like to do. I like to just try to get as much of that out of the way as possible. Hey guys, so it's actually after ceremony now. I had a very transformative weekend, but I just wanted to close this vlog off here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more preparing for ceremony vlogs or if you want me to cover like any other aspects of it. This was more like the food and emotional side of preparing for a ceremony but if you want to see like a packing list or something let me know and make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content around spirituality plant medicine and psychedelic and also just vancouver lifestyle stuff anyway sending you so much love and have a beautiful day bye